Detailed overview of the rule 1 work deeply. Rule 1. Work deeply. In his book, Deep Work, Cal Newport introduces rule 1, which emphasizes the importance of working deeply to maximize productivity, focus, and the production of high-quality work. This rule provides guidance on how individuals can create the conditions necessary for deep work and harness its benefits. The chapter delves into various strategies and principles to help individuals work deeply and optimize their performance. Newport begins by defining deep work as the ability to focus without distraction on a cognitively demanding task. He contrasts this with shallow work, which consists of non-demanding, logistical tasks that can be performed while distracted. The chapter explores several key aspects of Rule 1, Working Deeply. 1. Time Blocking Newport introduces the concept of time blocking, which involves scheduling blocks of dedicated time for deep work. By setting aside specific periods for deep work and eliminating potential distractions, individuals can create a conducive environment for focused, uninterrupted work. 2. Ritualize deep work. Establishing rituals and routines helps signal to the mind that it's time to transition into a deep work mode. By consistently following specific pre-work rituals, individuals can train their brain to enter a focused state more easily and consistently. 3. Embrace boredom. Newport suggests that embracing moments of boredom can be beneficial for deep work. Instead of immediately seeking distractions or quick entertainment during moments of boredom, individuals can leverage this opportunity to engage in deep, concentrated thinking and creativity. 4. Create a deep work sanctuary. Designating a physical space specifically dedicated to deep work can enhance focus and minimize distractions. By creating a sanctuary that is free from distractions and optimized for deep work, individuals can prime their environment for productivity and concentration. 5. Adopt a grand gesture. Engaging in a grand gesture can further enhance the transition into deep work. This may involve a physical or symbolic act that helps signal to the mind the importance and focus required for deep work. For example, wearing a specific item of clothing or adopting a specific posture can serve as a cue for the brain to enter a state of deep focus. 6. Set clear work and rest boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries between work and rest is crucial for effective deep work. By defining specific work hours and designated periods of rest, individuals can ensure they have dedicated time for deep work while also allowing themselves to recharge and maintain work-life balance. 7. Embrace the minimum effective dose. Newport introduces the concept of the minimum effective dose, MED, which involves focusing on the minimum amount of deep work necessary to make significant progress. By optimizing the time spent on deep work and avoiding excessive or unnecessary work, individuals can maximize productivity and efficiency. 8. Train the shallows. To create more time for deep work, it is essential to minimize or eliminate shallow work that adds little value. Newport suggests examining current work habits and identifying tasks that can be delegated, automated, or eliminated to free up time for deep work. 9. Practice attention training. Developing the ability to sustain focused attention is key for effective deep work. Newport encourages individuals to engage in practices that train and strengthen their ability to concentrate, such as mindfulness meditation or deep reading. 10. Develop a shutdown ritual. A shutdown ritual marks the end of the workday and helps individuals transition from work to rest. This ritual involves specific actions like reviewing the day's accomplishments, organizing tasks for the next day, and mentally disengaging from work, allowing individuals to fully recharge and rejuvenate. By following these strategies and principles outlined in Rule 1, individuals can create an environment conducive to deep work and optimize their ability to focus, produce high-quality work, and maximize productivity. The chapter emphasizes the value of working deeply in a world filled with distractions and highlights the transformative impact it can have on one's professional and personal success. 20 great points with examples from the rule number 1 work deeply. Certainly, here are 20 great points from rule 1 work deeply along with examples. 1. 
Time blocking. Scheduling dedicated blocks of time for deep work allows individuals to create a focused and uninterrupted environment. For example, a writer may allocate two hours every morning for deep work, during which they work on their novel without any distractions. 2. Ritualize deep work. Establishing pre-work rituals and routines helps signal to the mind that it's time to enter a state of deep focus. For instance, a software developer may have a ritual of reviewing their code from the previous day and setting specific goals before diving into deep work. 3. Embrace moments of boredom. Rather than seeking immediate distractions during moments of boredom, individuals can use this time for deep, contemplative thinking. For example, a scientist may use a long commute to engage in deep work by reflecting on research problems and brainstorming potential solutions. 4. Create a deep work sanctuary. Designating a physical space solely dedicated to deep work minimizes distractions and optimizes focus. For instance, an artist may set up a studio that is free from distractions, with all necessary art supplies readily available, to engage in deep creative work. 5. Adopt a grand gesture. Engaging in a symbolic act or physical gesture can help trigger a deep work mindset. For example, a professor may wear a specific pair of glasses while grading papers to signal to their brain that it's time for deep concentration. 6. Set clear work and rest boundaries. Establishing defined work hours and rest periods ensures a healthy work-life balance and prevents burnout. For instance, a consultant may commit to working deeply for a set number of hours each morning and then dedicate the rest of the day to personal activities and relaxation. 7. Embrace the minimum effective dose, med, focusing on the minimum amount of deep work necessary to make significant progress avoids excessive or unnecessary effort. For example, a researcher may identify the critical experiments or analyses required to move their project forward, rather than getting caught up in less impactful tasks. 8. Drain the shallows. Minimizing or eliminating shallow work that adds little value frees up time for deep work. For instance, an executive may delegate administrative tasks to an assistant, allowing them to focus on high-level strategic thinking and decision-making. Nine. Practice attention training, engaging in activities that train and strengthen focused attention, such as mindfulness meditation or deep reading, enhances the ability to sustain deep work. For example, an entrepreneur may practice meditation each morning before diving into a deep work session. 10. Develop a shutdown ritual. Having a specific ritual to mark the end of the workday helps transition from work to rest. For instance, a project manager may review the day's accomplishments, tidy their workspace, and create a to-do list for the next day to mentally detach from work and enjoy personal time. 11. Eliminate digital distractions, turning off notifications, setting boundaries on social media use, or using website blockers can prevent digital distractions and support deep work. For example, a journalist may use a website blocker to limit access to social media platforms while working on an important investigative article. 12. Use the Pomodoro technique, breaking deep work into focused intervals, typically 25 minutes of work followed by a short break, can help maintain productivity and prevent burnout. For instance, a student preparing for exams may use the Pomodoro technique to engage in deep study sessions with regular breaks. 13. Set specific goals for deep work sessions. Clearly defining goals for each deep work session helps maintain focus and provides a sense of accomplishment. For example, a marketing professional may set a goal to create a detailed campaign strategy during a deep work session. 14. Seek solitude when necessary. Finding solitude, whether by working in a quiet space or using noise-canceling headphones, allows for deep concentration and minimizes external distractions. For instance, a data analyst may choose to work in a secluded area to analyze complex datasets without interruptions. 15. Prioritize deep work over shallow work. Giving deep work precedence over shallow tasks ensures that meaningful and high-value work receives sufficient attention. For example, a graphic designer may prioritize a client's branding project over routine administrative tasks. 16. Communicate deep work boundaries.
clearly communicating to colleagues and stakeholders about dedicated deep work time and expectations helps protect uninterrupted work periods. For instance, a software engineer may inform their team that they will be unavailable for meetings during specific hours reserved for deep work. 17. Collaborate strategically. While deep work often requires solitude, strategic collaboration with trusted colleagues can enhance productivity and generate innovative ideas. For example, a research team may engage in deep work individually, but periodically come together to share insights and discuss progress. 18. Optimize energy levels for deep work. Identifying peak energy times and scheduling deep work sessions during these periods can maximize focus and productivity. For instance, a writer may find they are most alert and creative in the mornings, so they allocate that time for deep writing sessions. 19. Leverage deep work for skill development. Engaging in deliberate practice during deep work sessions allows for skill refinement and continuous improvement. For example, a musician may dedicate deep practice sessions to mastering complex musical passages and honing their technique. 20. Continuously refine deep work strategies, regularly evaluating and adjusting deep work practices based on personal experience and feedback can optimize productivity and effectiveness. For instance, a project manager may experiment with different deep work techniques and reflect on their effectiveness to fine-tune their approach. By implementing these strategies from Rule 1, individuals can create the conditions necessary for deep work, enhance their focus and productivity, and achieve high-quality results in their professional endeavors.